Detachable Aerial Cable Car. In CPT systems, there are two of the four major types that are detachable. They are the aerial cable car and the cable liner, known as the detachable cousins. In this chapter, we will look at how detachable ART works. In the next chapter, it will be how detachable cable liner works. A detachable ART means that a cabin can be detached from the cable that propels them. Being detachable generally leads to higher passenger capacity per hour per direction. Some people think that cabins in an ART travels like a zip line. It is not because the cabin does not slide over a cable by gravity. Others think that the cable is stationary. They think there are wheels driven by tiny motors that glide over the cable. It would be like the wheels of a train gliding over train tracks. Instead, the cabin is clamped to a cable by means of a grip. The cable that carries the cabin is being pulled towards the station by mechanical devices at the station. There is still the question of how can a passenger deboard and board when the cabin continues to stream along the cabin line. People may wonder if all passengers have to go down when arriving at the station. Some passengers can then exit at the station, while the continuing passengers can take another ride towards the next station. The answer to these questions is inside the station building. How it is done is a brilliant execution of engineering. This is made possible by making the cabin detach or attach from a constantly speeding cable. First, let us look at the differences between the two major types of ART, a detachable aerial cable and a non-detachable aerial tram. The aerial cable car has a detachable grip that detaches as it arrives at the station and attaches as it leaves the station. The aerial tram has a non-detachable grip that is permanently attached to the cable. The two cabins move back and forth between the two stations. The detachability characteristics of an ART is what makes it unique among all other forms of mass transportation. The comparison in this page partly explains why. In this simulation BRT or LRT, the buses or trains go from station to station in this manner, leaves the station, travels to the next station, arrives at the next station, and the cycle is repeated. In an ART, the cabin streams constantly between the stations the entire operating day at the same speed. First, we will look into the details of a detachable aerial cable car. These are the main parts of the cabin showing the detachable grip. In every tower, there is a pulley assembly which is composed of a series of pulleys beside each other. This is where the cable with an attached cabin passes through. When a cabin passes a tower, the grip carrying the cabin can be above the pulley assembly. In this case, the cable represented by the red dot will be between the grip and the pulley. The cable is represented by this red dot. Or the grip carrying the cabin can be below the pulley assembly. In this case, the cable represented by a red dot will be below the grip and the pulley. Again, this red dot represents the cable. The decision where to position the grip assembly, whether it is above or below, will depend on the position of the tower. The objective of the positioning of the grip assembly is always to keep the cable in tension so that it will not derail from the pulley assembly. This is a diagram of the grip assembly and its corresponding photo. Its grip clamps the cable and carries the cabin below during travel between stations. This inset shows how the release lever clamps or unclamps on the cable. When the release lever goes up, it detaches or unclamps from the cable. When it goes down, it attaches or clamps to the cable. When the cabin enters the station, its actuating roller will roll over an actuating rail and push it down. The pushing down will open the movable jaw detaching the grip from the cable. Similarly, when going out of the station, the actuating roller will roll over an actuating rail and push it up to close the movable jaw attaching the grip to the cable. 
These are its detailed parts of the grip coupling assembly. This is a photo of the grip assembly showing its parts. These are more views of the grip assembly showing the grip clamping on the cable during travel between stations. As cable cars gain interest in the Philippines, more people will see more pictures and videos of the latest monocable aerial cable cars before they will get installed. Monocables are the most popular types of cable cars used in urban transportation for many reasons. Among the reasons is its performance and cost efficiency. People will observe in photos that the detachable grip appears to be very small. The grips are so small it looks like it could easily slip out of the cable. An example of an older model ART is this touristic ART in Cologne, Germany. It was built in 1957 and reconditioned in 1966. It is still being used today. It has a detachable grip that is big and bulky. This attaches to a haul cable. The ART has a separate carriage wheel gliding over a support track cable to move the cabin forward. Whereas, in the latest improved version, the support and haul cable of the old model has been combined into one cable. The carriage wheel and detachable grip of the old model is also combined into one. It is amazing that the assembly has become much smaller, and yet the cabin capacity has been increased from 4 to 10 passengers. Furthermore, with continuing improvements, it has become safer and more efficient. This video will hopefully make passengers feel confident that the cabins will not slip out of the cable at even extreme conditions. This is an old model touristic cable towards a mountaintop area. This cabin may have been left out in the open during non-operating hours. This is the reason there are no passengers inside. There is no accident and wind intensity of this kind with passengers inside the cabin that have happened in real life. The movement of the detachable cabins slightly differ between an intermediate and an end station. First, we explore the intermediate station. We will use an example, one of the lines at the La Paz ART. This cabin travels at a constant speed of 22 kph towards the station. When the cabin arrives at the station, the cabin grip detaches from the cable. Instantaneously, the tire conveyor colored in red circles takes over the propulsion of the cabin. The conveyor decelerates the cabin from 22 kph to a constant speed of 0.9 kph. At this point, the door starts to open. At this point, the passengers can deboard or stay in the cabin. Afterwards, the passengers waiting on the platform can board each of the cabins that passes by. At this point, the door is already closed. The conveyor accelerates the cabin from 0.9 kph to 22 kph. At this point, the cabin grip attaches to the cable and instantaneously takes over the propulsion of the cabin. The cabin then travels at a constant speed of 22 kph until it reaches the next station. The cycle is then repeated. This is a video clip of the tire conveyors pressing on the cross die. This page will detail how the tire conveyors move the cabin at different speeds. As each tire conveyor presses on the cross die and rotates in a counterclockwise direction, the cabin is moved forward. Each tire conveyor has a preset assigned speed. When the tire conveyor takes over the propulsion here, the speed of the cabin is decelerated. This deceleration is done by decreasing the rotational speed of each tire conveyor. To simplify the explanation, we use an increment of 1 kph. At this point, the speed of the cabin is 0.9 kph, which is the safe speed for deboarding and boarding of passengers. This speed will be made constant within the range of the deboarding and boarding area. This constant speed is done by assigning a rotational speed of each conveyors at 0.9 kph. At this point, boarding is no longer allowed as the cabin will start to be accelerated. The acceleration is done by increasing the rotational speed of each conveyor at an increment of 1 kph. At this point, the cable takes over the propulsion of 22 kph. 
What is shown previously is the movement of the cabins at the intermediate stations. Let us look at how cabins detach at end stations. This cabin travels at a constant speed of 22 kilometers per hour. This cable is being propelled by this bull wheel in a counterclockwise direction. When the cabin reaches this point, the cabin grip instantaneously detaches from the cable. Simultaneously, the tire conveyors takes over and decelerates the cabin. When the cabin reaches here, the speed becomes 0.9 kph. A few seconds later, the door automatically opens. Passengers deboard. Being an end station, the cabins loop around at the same constant speed. 0.9 kph is the safe constant speed for deboarding and boarding. On the other side of the station is where passengers board. When the cabin reaches here, the door closes. At this point, the cabin is being accelerated. When the acceleration reaches 22 kph here, the cabin grip instantaneously attaches to the cable. Simultaneously, the cable takes over the propulsion. Note that this cable will always be in a constant speed in a counterclockwise direction at 22 kph all day. And each of the tire conveyors will always run at its constant assigned speeds all day. Both the cable and tire conveyors run independently of each other. All move in perfect harmony like an orchestra. This is an example of an emergency where the cabin needs to be slowed down further or even to a complete stop. To get a stretcher in and out of the cabin, the speed may be reduced by 50% from 0.9 kph to 0.45 kph. All other cables and the tire conveyor will be proportionately reduced by 50%. If full stop is needed, then the cabins hanging between the stations will also stop. Passengers will be informed of the slowdown or full stoppage by intercom so that they will not feel worried. Let us recall in the chapter on mechanics of a CPT that BRT, LRT, and cars use so much energy in propelling their respective vehicles. In these vehicles, there is multiple deceleration and acceleration during travel. To decelerate, a brake pedal is pressed causing energy loss. To accelerate, an acceleration pedal is pressed causing energy consumption. Whereas in an ART, the travel between stations is always constant. Inside the station, the rotation of each tire conveyor that propels the cabins at different speeds is also constant. The following pages will show more details on the clamping and unclamping of the grip on the cable. This is the grip assembly that carries the cabin. At this position A, the assembly is still propelled by the cable. Within a split second, the assembly will be at position B. At this position, the clamp will open and release the cable. At exactly the same time, the tire will slide over the cross tie. The propulsion is now transferred from the cable to the tires. This is a photo of the two wheels gliding on their respective rail tracks. As the cable has already been detached, there is no device that carries the weight of the cabin. These two rails on both sides support the cabin as it glides over the rails. This grip assembly is connected to the cabin below. The tires will press on the cross tie rotating in a counterclockwise direction. The rotation will move the cabin in a forward direction. This is an actual example of a cross tie being pressed by a series of tires to propel the clamp assembly that is connected to the cabin below. You can see here the grip attaching to the cable. This grip will unclamp in about 12 seconds. At this point, you can see that the clamp has already separated from the cable. At this point, you can see that the clamp and cable are still separated. In a few seconds, the grip will clamp onto the cable. At 
this point, you can see that the cable has clamped back to the cable to resume the normal and constant speed travel between stations. This is an animation of how the cable detaches from the cable.